Hello, fellow human beings. Let's uh, write some code. But before we do that, let's recap what happened in the last video. So previously on this series, no, I'm not going to do that. Sorry about my cringe comedy or sense of humor. I'm just in a good mood and I hope you are too. So in the last video, we uh, created the sidebar, including uh, a GraphQL that we used to fetch the latest three posts and show them here. And we created the footer. So let's commit these changes. Um, actually, before we do that, I wanted to mention that the, if we inspect, we can see that React has been complaining about us not adding this key property to uh, iterators. So let's fix that. This, by the way, this key property is something that React uses to um, uniquely identify each member of an ordered or unordered list and uh, so we need to give it a unique value. So here for when we loop through the posts, for each post, let's give, and that's actually why we fetched the ID. Let's give it as a, um, as a key. So the key would be node.id, did I type module or was that fixed? Node.id. And the other one I believe is in, inside of post, uh, post is here and it's the tags. So for each ally, the key would be tag, which will be unique because we don't have repeating tags and it doesn't have to be unique all across. So in the other unordered list, it's fine if we have a value that's the same as that. So if we save all files and it compiles again, we should, oops, let's go to the other one. We should see that the error is gone. Let's refresh. And there we go, we don't have that uh, warning anymore. So let's create the single post page where we see our uh, just one post. And before we do that, let's commit our changes. Let's stop the development server and run git add dot and git uh, commit. And let's say created sidebar and footer, oops, and footer components. Okay. Uh, let's start creating the single page post or the single post page rather and that will actually use a template and uh, to you to create all the pages for those posts so it's not going to go in the pa in the pages directory so let's create a new uh, new folder called templates because so we're going to have other ones later and in here let's create a single dash post dot js uh, it's bringing React. Well, actually, I'm using Emmet, so I could do RFC, I believe. Uh, I still don't like this format, but let's, let's do this export. Uh, default single uh, single post. And oops, here is const single single post. Is this functional component and Let's bring in the layout. layout room. Go back one level to components slash layout. Um, what do we need? We need as well the sidebar. Port sidebar from components oops, slash sidebar. And okay, let's start. Um, Let's start writing our, our thing. So layout, uh, inside the layout, um, we actually need, uh, we're gonna run a query to get our post. So let's write that query first. Let's bring in GraphQL. So we're gonna be bringing a lot of stuff in this uh, one, one template. Import GraphQL from Gatsby. And let's do our query. So export const post uh, query and if you notice I did export because this is going to be uh, not a static query because it's going to receive a variable it's going to be a dynamic query and it's going to be executed automatically by GraphQL and we're going to have uh, the data in uh, props.data so the query is going to be query blog post by slug and um, and I'll explain the slug thing in a moment. Let's give, this takes a slug of type string with an exclamation mark, which means we have to receive this argument. 
and the query is gonna fetch markdown remark and the key so fields uh, no path path is equal to slug okay so we have ID Gonna need the HTML. We're gonna need front matter, and front matter. We're gonna need the title, the uh, author, uh, the date. I'm gonna format that as well. So format, not dormant. Format string. Um, M M D O and quadruple Y. And we need the tags and the image. So image, and inside of that we need child image sharp. And inside of that we need the fluid. And we're gonna give this a max width, max width of uh, 700. And let's spread Gatsby uh, image sharp fluid. I uh, think this is it for the query. So this is gonna be executed and we're gonna have that inside of props. But instead of receiving just props, we're only gonna use the data. So let's just um, destructure the data. And to get the posts from that, the post from that would be const. Let's declare this const post, which is gonna be data dot mark down remark dot front matter. Uh, where is it dot front matter? Yeah, it's on front, it's dot front matter. Okay, so let's bring in the SEO so we can set the title of the page and all of that. Let's import SEO from go back one level components slash SEO and let's put that here so. SEO and title is post title. Let's close that. Uh, let's have the header, and the header of the page will be the title of the post. So like this, and let's do our row here, and let's actually bring in some stuff from React Strap. So for now, row and column um, from React. Wrap and I'm gonna have two columns so call times two and press tab and this one would be would snap at MD with the width of eight units and this one would snap to MD with the width of four units and our sidebar will go here so, um, sidebar uh, we brought the sidebar in here so let's put let's put uh it's gonna be a card as well. Uh, let's bring in this stuff. So card um, card uh, body card. Are we gonna have a title? Actually, no. The title is gonna be the header. So we're just gonna need card subtitle. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. We're gonna have badge as well for the for the tags. If you notice, this is a bit similar to the post component, but we're not using post because we're not gonna have a title. But that's not gonna be a problem because uh, we're not gonna use this format anywhere else, so we don't need to give it its own component. Okay, so we need an image here, and actually we need to get, bring that in as well. Import img from Gatsby image and our image would have a class name of card image top and a fluid property of post.fluid mm. yeah post.image dot post dot image dot child image sharp dot fluid and let's close that and let's have the card body here, card body, oops, tab, 
and card subtitle where we have who posted this and by whom I mean on when so a span dot with a class of text info which will say which will have the date so post dot date which is formatted already and then space by and then let's give it a space here and let's put another span of class text info oops info and this will have post dot author Okay, let's move on to the actual content, which is going to be in a div and which will use this property dangerously set in a HTML. If you're used to traditional HTML, this I think is just HTML. So here we will take an object, do the property uh, underscore underscore HTML, and this will be data dot markdown remark dot html uh, now we're gonna have tags yeah so ul dot post tags and again you can have a look at the sas and understand what this post tags class does so post dot tags dot map and for each tag we're actually just gonna return an li an ally and let's give the key this time of tag and uh, let's close this I have a link to um, a link to uh, open a, a, temp a template literal string with a um, back text slash tag slash and then dollar sign curly braces slugify tag and let's bring both these things in so uh, link from Gatsby and the slugify from import slugify from util go back one level and go I don't know why I went down to that I could have just typed it but it's okay so we have slugify and inside of this link we're gonna have our batch so Badge, which will take a color property of oops of primary, not oops, but primary, and we'll have the tags name as the content. And I think we're done with this uh, with this template. So let's actually generate the pages. So let's go to this spooky, scary Gatsby node file. And uh, you can go to this link actually to understand some of the uh, lifecycle functions that uh, happen in this uh, file. But I'm gonna do some th uh, some uh, clever thing before we actually create the posts. So bear with me a moment. Let's let's bring in Slugify from no, actually not from. This is Node. What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't have to do all of that, by the way. <laughs> Slugify equals require. Um, so we go to source and util and utility functions and we're gonna do export dot on create node which I'll explain, I'll explain in a second and we will destructure from the props of this or from whatever object this had node and actions and we're gonna do the following. So, on create node is executed each time one node is created in the GraphQL schema. And this can be anything. This can be a post or it can be as well uh, something in the file system, like an image URL or whatever. So, what I want to do now is uh, this thing right here, this path, I don't want to each time when we create a post, we have to write the path ourselves. I want it to be automatically uh, generated from the title so uh, we're gonna do that we can create a new field in the node and uh, we can even transform it and do a bunch of things so let's bring uh, this method let's this structure create um, what is it create node create node field yes from not from <laughs> actions um, and let's check because 
we're gonna have a list of nodes not a list of nodes rather we're gonna have one node each time a node is created we have this node so we need to check the type of the node because if this is just some other thing that's not a post we don't want to uh, add a field to it so let's check node if node dot internal dot type which is some uh, metadata uh, data about this node which includes the type so if the type is markdown remark this means this is a markdown file so it's probably one of our definitely one of our posts so we need to add this field to it so let's do const slug from title and that's a descriptive name if you ever saw one and this would be a slugify node.frontmatter.title so we make a slug and let's add it to it so create node field and this will take our node and it will take the name of the field and let's call that oops slug and the value of the field which will be this slug from title and let's see if this is actually working so before we're not gonna generate any pages yet let's just test this so let's do Gatsby develop and hopefully no error happens let's cross our fingers or whatever superstition you have to guarantee good luck and is that an error? path is not defined where is this? oh no oh but it's okay we're gonna fix that but let's go to GraphQL actually and let's run a query let's get all markdown remark and from that let's get let's just get id because why not actually no edges and then node and then let's get the id of that and let's get this thing that we just created so fields slug let's get the title as well just to to check wait what did i mess up oh no this is in front matter so let's get the title from that and let's hit control enter and there we go so you see here we have the title and a slug that's automatically generated from that so so from now on we're not going to use this path thing we're not going to use it we're going to remove it and we're going to be using our slug instead so we don't have to type it each time we create a new post so let's actually change our code to suit that approach so let's remove uh, this path from all the markdown files and let's save all files and close these because we don't need them anymore and let's actually let's see I think we need to change something here so we weren't fetching the path so we match in fields not path but slug so this that error that GraphQL error will be gone and here Where's path? Let's search for path. Path. No. Where's the... Actually, we don't have any URL to that, so we're okay here. I think we're going to change something here. So, yeah. So here we don't fetch path. But instead, after the image, or after the front matter, actually, we fetch fields, slug, and here, for each post, we don't pass a path but we pass a slug and this slug is not in the front matter but in the fields fields and then let's go edit that in post as well we don't take a path let's just rename this to slug and wherever there is path we just give the slug thing so slug and now we have the automatically generated slug as the path as the url for each post okay so let's let's go to gatsby node and carry on and now we're gonna be working with a new function, which is called create pages, which does exactly that, which is executed actually after on cre uh, after all the nodes are created, and means after all of these have been executed, so we already have access to the slug. And we're gonna destructure actions and GraphQL from this, and then we need a create page from actions and we need to bring in the template that we just created so const single post 
um, a template and we actually need path for this so let's bring in path so path equals require um, path uh, so with the path dot resolve now you don't have to understand all what I'm doing right here uh, sometimes don't be overwhelmed sometimes there are certain things that you're gonna use for a while before you actually uh, understand uh, thoroughly so if, if there's some one or two, two things that you don't understand don't don't worry about it like you'll be fine sometimes you don't know how cars work but we still drive them and get to work okay so we're gonna have a GraphQL query here on, on create pages this is an asynchronous uh, up, uh, method so it has to return a promise or use a callback um, but we need a GraphQL query I'm gonna explain in a second why so mark or markdown remark um, edges as per usual node and from the front matter we're only gonna need author oops author and tags and I'm gonna explain why in a second. And from fields, we need the slug as well. Actually, maybe now we don't even need tags, or do we? Anyway, let's just leave it. Okay, so this returns a, a promise, so we need to do then result. So now we handle what happens when we get a result. Let's handle errors first. So if we have result dot errors, then we need to reject this promise. So we return promise dot reject which is going to stop it here and this needs to uh, report our errors back to us if there's no errors then let's get our posts so const posts equals res dot data all mark down remark uh, dot edges oops dot edges and let's loop through these posts. So post dot for each, not dot each for each. And instead of using edge again, let's uh, destructure node. So let's do it like this: node, and for each node we create a page. So create page, and this create page takes a, a path for that page which will register this page to that path so each time we visit that path we get that page <laughs> and this path would be node.fields.slug and this is why we fetched it from here so you have access to it you have to be careful sometimes when you wanted to use something here you have to get it from GraphQL this is one of the beauty uh, things about GraphQL you only fetch the, the data you need which saves a lot on performance so and this needs a component which is our template, so single post template. And what do we need? Yeah, context. We need to pass a, a variable. And context is a way that you use to pass something to pass something to your component that it will be used later. So here we need to pass our slug. So node.fields.slug. And actually we don't need tags. Not for now at least. I think we need them later, but not now. So let's remove them for now. Let's actually put a comment here. I haven't been putting uh, comments just to save some time. Don't want to like inflate the. Uh... So let's, let's put the comment first. Passing slug for template to use to get um, post. So I don't want to put too many comments to inflate the uh, the time of the these tutorials. You feel free to comment your code. I obviously highly recommend it. It's good practice. So that slug that we passed is going to be available to our component and it's going to be uh, used here to fetch this particular post and then that data is going to be used here to display that post. So let's save everything. Let's stop because we edited the uh, config file and let's run the, server, uh, the development server again by running our favorite command Gatsby develop. I think I fixed all the slug path shenanigans thing and there's a problem here from sidebar yeah I didn't actually <laughs> so here instead of path 
to our posts we need outside the front matter so I believe here fields oops fields slug and wherever we have path let's search for the word path so here instead of front matter dot path we need to put uh what did I just do oh yeah fields for some reason I thought there was another one fields dot slug and this should fix that problem and it does because we're compiling assets now sometimes it gets stuck on compiling assets for no reason I think it's uh, it's actually running so you can see and there we go let's actually add some text to this so just it, it actually you can notice the difference between a regular card or when we're in in the po in the single post page so let's copy that paste and paste and paste and paste and paste, paste, paste. okay and there we go I mean yeah this looks like a copy pasta but you get the vibe so we have here just some text and then when we click on that we get the title here we get the whole post and yeah this is the single post page and we get our automatically generated slugs as we see here and uh, it's working fine and even if we click on the button yes still goes to the same slug and uh, yeah uh, later obviously we're gonna have more stuff here it's gonna more look more complete with the social share buttons and all that stuff um in the next in the next video we're gonna be uh, refactoring some of our code for example here uh, we have in our post we're using we're repeating ourselves by having no actually not here in the single post we're having layout and then we have to put the sidebar on on all of them we're gonna move all that uh, code to the um, layout itself in the next video actually let me commit here so get add get no get commit what have we done we created created single post pages and automatically generating slugs fantastic uh, by the way feel free to ask if you have any like problems or any errors if you encounter anything or if you want me to do something else or if there is something that you maybe you don't like for example when I'm typing and, and saying what I'm typing at the same time maybe it's okay for you you're looking and you don't need me to read all the code that I'm writing any comments really any uh, constructive criticism is, is appreciated thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one